What's up guys, my name is Dario and today we're gonna have a look at the Insta360 X3. I would like to dive into the topic of shot labs. Now what are shot labs? Shot labs are step-by-step -step templates that Insta360 created for you to follow so that without any knowledge as a videographer, you can still create highly engaging videos to share on TikTok and Instagram. Now there are plenty of shot labs to choose from, that's why I made a selection of 10 that we will be trying out today. Sky swap. We need to place the camera onto the selfie stick. We want to extend the selfie pole by one click, so something like this. Your shooting settings for this one will be 5.7K and 30 frames per second. You want to place the camera in a fixed position and then walk for a couple of seconds. Okay, first things first, let's ignore this weird piano royalty free music because it's kind of horrible. But apart from that, I like the idea of this shot lab. However, in this particular case, because of all the trees, it was kind of hard to track the sky, which kind of ruins the shots. So next time I would shoot this in a way more open space, maybe in a square or a field or something like this. Another note to make is to keep more distance between yourself and the camera. This way you will get a nicer shot and I feel like this shot in particular was cropped a bit too tight. Clone loop. We need to place the camera on a selfie stick and the selfie stick is placed on top of these small tripod feet so you can put it on the floor and you extend the selfie stick all the way as far as it goes. I won't be making this shot myself. We got Neil who will be performing this one. You want to walk around the camera in a circle at about a distance of one meter and a half. Oh God, I think this music is gonna be a trend throughout all of these shot labs. But apart from that, I must say I kinda like this one. It's a very joyful shot and if you don't know how it's made, it definitely stops you scrolling because it catches your attention. One note to make is be careful for subjects moving in the background as this can create inconsistency and it kinda gives away the effect. So to get the best results for this shot lab, shoot it in a stationary background with no moving subjects nose mode. All you need to do is put the camera in 5.7K, 30 frames per second, just place it in your mouth and do a, a funny walk like this. Ooh, this one is definitely my favorite so far. It put a smile on my face, it's a very happy shot lab and because of the distortion that happens to the face it really gives this comical almost animated like effect which I'm a big fan of. Another thing I noticed is that this shot lab I could only export in the vertical format being 9 by 16 whereas the previous two could only be exported in the widescreen 16 by 9. So it's kind of weird that you don't get to choose your aspect ratio. Dolly zoom. All we need to do is put it on a selfie stick, find a subject which will be kneeled and just move back for six to eight seconds. Very important, try to keep the camera in a straight line, don't move it too much from left to right, walk back carefully. This effect turned out pretty well. It kind of gives me some nostalgia because the first time I saw this effect being used was in a movie called Vertigo. This type of shot is screaming drama, intenseness and suspension. For a Hollywood production you would use a zoom lens, however here they're using a digital zoom, that's why you can see the shot losing quality the moment the digital crop starts to get closer to the subject. But apart from that, very cool shot lab. Fly laps. Therefore we want to place the camera on a selfie stick, extend it all the way and shoot in 5.7K, 30 frames per second and walk in a straight line for about two minutes. Flylabs is a very engaging and scroll-stopping way to showcase a new environment or a new location. It's interesting to see that the app analyzes the shot to find different buildings and different subjects and then uses AI to place keyframes in your shot so that the most important things like buildings and statues get highlighted in your Flylabs. Now this shot in particular I found it to be a bit too long. Now I already cut it down in the video that you just saw because the original shot was like over 30 seconds and I didn't want to lose your attention. Thought I'd just drop it in here. Let's get back to the video. 
So I feel like if the shot was a bit shorter, you would keep the audience attention much better. Roll planet. We need to place the 360 camera onto the little tripod feet, place it on the floor like this. Keep about two meters distance between yourself and the camera and just walk around in a circle. Now this is another great shot lab to showcase a location in a very playful way. It definitely put a smile on my face. What worked well in this shot in particular in my opinion is that there were some buildings in the background which give some shape to the planet you are walking in. For this shot it was both Neil and myself walking on the planet. However you can also make this shot just running on your own. Center stage. Therefore we want to place the camera onto the selfie stick, extend it all the way and you're gonna ask your friend to move the camera around you and holding the camera in place for about one second per position. It's gonna automatically track you and it's gonna look amazing as if you're in Kendrick Lamar's video clip. Let me know in the comments who did it better, Kendrick Lamar or myself. All jokes aside though, the idea of this shot is very nice, however I found it strange that the app is cropping so much into the picture, because of that you're losing so much quality of the video and everything looks very pixelated. So for the concept I give this one a 10 out of 10, execution not so much. Shadow clone. Therefore you want to place the camera stationary in an interesting looking location and you can do four different actions or four different gestures around the camera and then it's gonna merge all of these shots together and it's gonna look like you are sitting around yourself. <laughs> sure what went wrong here but clearly the AI was having difficulties tracking Neil and it only used two of his actions instead of the four so I'm not sure if it has something to do with the location or maybe the low light situation of this recording but definitely something went off tracking the subject here. Time flip. You want to put the camera in 5.7k 30 frames per second you put it on the selfie stick extend it all the way for this shot you want to place yourself with the back against the wall and just swing the camera alongside the horizon from one side to the other and we're going to repeat this in multiple scenes which is going to stitch everything together Okay, okay, I see you Insta360. This one gets my approval. It's a very cool way of showing different locations and could be a very nice transition and maybe a music clip. But what I like in particular about this shot lab is the energy and fast pacedness of it. Clone trail. You wanna place the camera onto the selfie stick with the little feet and you're gonna extend it by one section. Keep your camera in 5.7K, 30 frames per second. You're gonna place it on the floor and do one move. <laughs> Okay, I see a lot of potential for this shot. However, I feel like a more interesting action needs to happen in order to really let this shot lap shine. So maybe if you're playing basketball and do a crazy LeBron James kind of dunk, then I'm sure it's gonna look amazing. In this particular case, I would say the execution from our part was suboptimal, but the shot lap as a concept, I'm a fan of it. And these were the 10 shot labs we tried for you to get a better understanding of what these shot labs actually are. Now, what are my final thoughts on them? I think the idea of giving templates to people to play around with the 360 camera in a very creative and playful way is very good, just to spark some more creativity with it. However, do I see myself using these shot labs in the future? I would say no, because I would say they're kind of gimmicky. However, if you've never used a 360 camera before and you use these templates to get to know the camera and use it as an introduction to shooting 360 videos, then I think it's a very engaging way to get relatively nice results without really knowing what you're doing. If I could change one thing from the shot labs in general, it would be giving the people the option to choose in which aspect ratio they would like to export their shot lab. Whereas with most of the shot labs I tried today, I couldn't choose my aspect ratio. It was either fixed horizontally 
or vertically with one exception where I had the ability to choose both of them. As you're shooting in 360 and thus capturing everything in front, behind, left, right, up and down of you, theoretically all of these shot labs could be exported in any aspect ratio as the camera captures the entire environment anyways. So ladies and gentlemen, these were my thoughts on the shot labs of Insta360. I hope there's something you could take away from today's video. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because it really does make a difference. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite shot lab was. If I would have to pick one, I would say the nose mode. <laughs>